morning. Today is a very special day in the church as we celebrate the birth of the Blessed Mother. We have a big feast at home on Christmas because we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Remember, without Mary, there would have been no Jesus. So we need to also celebrate her birthday. And that's what we will do today. We start in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. As we prepare to celebrate the mysteries of Christ's love, let us acknowledge our failures and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth and peace to people of the world. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for the great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only the God of Son, Lord God, Son of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Impart to your servants, we pray, O Lord, the gift of heavenly grace that the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary may bring deeper peace to those for whom the birth of her Son was the dawning of salvation. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and rest with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Micah. The Lord says, You, Bethlehem Ephrathah, too small to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient times. Therefore the Lord will give them up until the time when she who is to give birth has born and the rest of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord, in the majestic name of the Lord his God. And they shall remain, for now his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth. He shall be peace. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, With delight I rejoice in the Lord. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. Though I trusted in your mercy, let my heart rejoice in your salvation. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. Let me sing of the Lord. He has been good to me. With delight I rejoice in the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, deserving of all praise. From you rose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Amen. 
This is, how, this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise well, I see that it, we got more people today because they came to the birthday party, which is great. It's beautiful. First of all, I want to thank the ones that brought flowers because it's an external expression of our devotion to Mary. Remember, each and every one of us asks something from Mary just about every day. It would be unjust to let her birthday pass by just like another day. We don't, leave, we don't let our mother's birthday go by without thanking her or at least calling her on the phone. Well, we have to do the same thing with Mary. This is not my invention, because sometimes people don't hear much about something, and they say, well, the priest made that up. No, I didn't make that up. This is, this, is a, this, is, this is a tradition of the church. Why September the 8th? Well, what do we celebrate on December the 8th? The Immaculate Conception. Nine months later, Mary was born. The date exactly, no one knows. It could have been the 5th, it could have been the 8th. But the church picked the 8th. Because the important part is that she was born. And that she was prepared from her conception to be the mother of God. So you can imagine all the perfection that was in her. She said yes, and starts suffering. And the biggest title that she has is not Our Lady of this and Our Lady of that. I know that we all have different Our Ladies, because uh, some countries have more than one. If you go to Spain, everyone has an Our Lady, so in one of the regions. The important and the most important title that she has is Mother of God. Because if she wouldn't have been the Mother of God, she would have never had all those other titles. That, that tells you how important maternity is. How sad, how sad when people don't, don't realize that and people don't appreciate that. No one loves you more. Put this in your head. No one loves you more on earth than your mother. Because it's a unique love. You cannot compare the love of a mother to any other love. She's the only one willing to give even her life for you. After all, she gave you life. So you can imagine how much Mary loved Jesus, knowing that she knew that he was the Son of God. And you can imagine how much Jesus loved Mary because he was prepared to be his mother from conception. And it's a, there is a Spanish saint, Anthony Maria Claret. I don't know if you ever heard of him. He was the founder of the Claritians. And he described the best way to honor Mary. And sometimes we think that by bringing, praying the rosary and bringing flowers and lighting candles, that's all great. Continue doing it. 
this is the way that he described the best way to honor Mary. First of all, Mary was full of virtues. And what is a virtue? It's a characteristic value as promoting collection and individual greatness. Individual greatness. She's the greatest. And Anthony Maria Claret defined the best way to honor Mary by imitating her virtues and abstaining from sin. When Lent comes around and you start looking for these terrible sacrifices, I'm going to give up smoking, I'm going to give up uh, uh, watching TV, I'm going to give up gossiping. The Holy Father talked about gossiping yesterday. Give up sin. That's the best way to honor Mary. Because never, Mary never knew sin. And Anthony Marie Claret used to say, the best way and the true devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary is to abstain from sin and to imitate her virtues. And I'm going to read to you just a few of the virtues that Mary had, a has because Mary did not die. Mary was taken to heaven by the angels. It's a dogma of the church. First virtue, angelic sweetness, ardent charity, blind obedience, constant mental prayer, divine wisdom, heroic patience, lively faith, profound humility, surpassing purity, and universal mortification. Try to imitate this in your life, at least one of them. And you will honor Mary the best way that you can. So today, as we celebrate Mary's birthday, let's ask her to make of us good Christians, to follow Jesus to accept what God sends us in life. She never complained. She never said, well, why, why me? Don't send this to me. She accepted what God sends to her. And that's the thermometer of Christianity. Sometimes we think that people are very holy, which could be, and are very good Christians because they go to Mass every day, because they pray the rosary, because they belong to the altar society, because they, they take the, the pastor to church to, to lunch. The best way to measure somebody's Christianity is when they accept what they cannot change. We cannot change this situation in the world right now. But we need to make the best out of this to be better Christians. Work on it. Work to change it. But remember, in a few minutes we will say the Our Father, Thy kingdom come. I will be done. I didn't have any more. I only have 15 left. On my 20th anniversary, which was four years ago, I printed this card. Uh, at the bottom, it's in Spanish, so I'm sorry, you cannot read it in Spanish. At the bottom is exactly what I told you about San Antonio Maria Claret. Take it. I only have 15. I don't have any more. I'll celebrate my 25th if I'm still alive, because you know I had two heart attacks already. If I'm still alive the following year, I maybe I'll be able to celebrate it with you. But remember, the day just a start. Sing happy birthday to Mary. Thank her for everything that she has done for us. And especially, thank her for Jesus. Mario, you can pass this around. That's all I have. <clears throat> Let us bring our needs before God, whose will it is that all humanity should be saved. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may the Lord in his divine goodness watch over and care for him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for peace in the world. May God's love and justice 
guide those in power and authority let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those suffering from any affliction, may Jesus give them peace and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this congregation of faith, may the Lord make us holy as the Blessed Virgin Mary was holy and full of grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who have died, may they rest in the eternal peace of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the end of this coronavirus, that we can go back to normal life soon, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And today, being the, the birthday of the Blessed Mother, we will place all of these petitions and our own petitions at the feet by saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thy womb, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. <coughs> you might see that. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual. Sacrifice and use may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. As we celebrate with joy the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring you our offerings, O Lord, and we humbly pray to be given strength by the humanity of your Son, who from her was pleased to take flesh. Who lives and reigns forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. To praise you, mighty is in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth and you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the loneliness of, her, of your handmaid, you give, gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one choir of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy. By sending down your spirit upon them by the new fall, that they might become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. I 
At the time he was betrayed and entered within the into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks to God and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. At partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our Archbishop, Enrique his auxiliary, and all the church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Edward Valdez and Dolores Maynard. <clears throat> and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, San Joseph, her spouse, San Padre Pio, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merely to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not on our sins from the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
communion now. Those of you that would like to receive it on your tongue, need to wait until the end of Mass, go to the chapel, and you'll receive it. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May your church exalt, O Lord, for you have renewed her with these sacred mysteries, as she rejoices in the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which was the hope and the daybreak of salvation for all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Eucharistic celebration has ended. We can go in peace. Amen. Amen.